It was a night in August, in the 18th year of my life. I was up late reading in my bedroom, like on many summer nights. It began with a glimpse, out of the corner of my eye, of someone walking towards the dining room. I was surprised that someone besides me would be awake and active at this time of night. I naturally assumed it was my brother. I asked him what he was doing, but he did not respond and walked beyond my vision. Curious, I put down my book and walked into the hallway. I saw someone walking about the dining room table. I referred to him as someone because I became aware he was not my brother when I saw him clearly from the hall. This person, who was definitely not my brother, was behaving strangely. Having circled the table once, he looked out of one of the windows. I called out to him, inquiring as to what he was doing. He did not respond. He simply walked over to the other window and stared outside at a different angle. It was at this point I observed two truly bizarre things. I observed him squinting, as if looking into the sun, though it was dark outside. I also had the distinct impression that I could see the streetlight shining through his torso. The person I was seeing looked as though he were partially transparent. As if struck by a sudden thought, he quickly snapped his attention away from the window and swiftly walked into the kitchen. I followed to see if he was going to leave the house, but as I rounded the corner he came back from the kitchen and walked straight into me. In the mere handful of surprised seconds I had to observe this, I saw his face clearly and recognized it. It was me. The image had my features and clothing and was moving in exactly the same manner I had eight hours prior. The apparition was less a ghost than an echo. It is not the only one of its kind, however. That prowling echo was but the first show in the spectral theater that is my home.